Intel is now planning to take its self-driving car unit public. That's Mobile Eye. The IPO plan for next year could potentially value this company at more than $50 billion. Your take on, uh, I guess, really creating value uh, out, of, out of Intel. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, Intel made an awesome investment because that company was worth $15 billion when they bought it in 2017, only four years ago. Uh, the company's revenue has tripled over that time frame, and it makes sense right now. Um, it is a hot IPO market. We're talking about SPACs, where there's a traditional IPO. And just to put in perspective right now, we've had $600 billion raised in IPOs this year in SPACs. That's the highest level ever and the highest before that was 2007 at only $400 billion right before the great financial crisis. So, you know, it makes me think there's some bubbles out there as well, Maria. So from Intel's perspective, it was a great investment, great time to get some liquidity, and they can focus on what they do, and that's manufacturing chips. They're the largest semiconductor chip maker in the world, and they've kind of languished behind NVIDIA and then it's micro devices over the last couple of years. So this gives them some cash. You know, they're looking to build two factories in Arizona. It's going to cost them $20 billion. So this will go a long way towards really just reinvesting in chip making. And that's essentially what they've been kind of like getting focused on again. So, you know, I think it's good yeah, for and, Intel. And, mm -hmm. No, go it's ahead, for please. the country, too. Yeah, no, it's good for the yeah, country as well. The We've been talking about Samsung's $17 billion investment in, in Texas and, of course, Texas Instruments also investing in Texas. Uh, so perhaps this manufacturing increasingly is going to happen in the United States. 